And so we have a little an element compound and uh, mixture uh, review. Let's see if we have T here. Um, we have the, the, the T is mixed in with the water. Um, obviously, that's not going to be on the periodic table, so it's not an element. And the T is not, not actually chemically bonded with the water. It's mixed in there. So this would be a mixture. Um, you can separate it, of course, just by letting the water evaporate, and it'll leave a you know, dark uh, the, the tea leaves, and it will be uh, down on the bottom. Um, so this will be a mixture. And then the other thing with mixtures is we ask if they homogeneous or heterogeneous. Homogeneous is where it looks the same top to bottom. You can't see the different parts of it. Heterogeneous would be like the jelly beans down here. We can see the different things that are in there. So this will be a homogeneous mixture. And of course, the jelly beans will be a heterogeneous mixture. Um, neon, that is on the periodic table. So that would be an element. Um, the rocks down here. Uh, the, well, of course, rocks are not on the, the, the periodic table. Um, and they're not really a compound either. These are a mixture. If you get really close and look at these, things like granite, they're made of different minerals. I have a piece of granite in my classroom that you could look at. You can see the individual minerals that are in there. So it is a mixture, and the fact that you can see the different ones that are in there, that would make it a heterogeneous mixture. Um, copper would be an element. It's on the periodic table. Um, pure water, H2O, if it has a chemical formula, it's going to be a compound. It's got hydrogen and oxygen chemically bonded together. So that's going to be a, uh, that's going to be a, a compound, H2O. It's got a chemical formula. It's got hydrogen and oxygen bonded together. That's pure water. Now, if it wasn't pure water, if it was something like salt water, that would be a mixture. Because we got the H2O and then we have the salt, but they were not chemically bonded together. And of course, you can physically separate a mixture, which you can with, with salt water. Um, it would be a hetero, I mean, um, a homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous, of course, salt water, when you look at it, you can't see the dissolved salt in there. And so if it looks the same top to bottom, it's going to be a homogeneous mixture. Um, sugar up here, well, sugar is a compound. Um, it's, a, it's a carbohydrate. It's the, it's the glucose that the, the plants create. Um, so it does have a, a chemical formula, C6H12O6. And then, of course, like salad, we've said it's a mixture, and it would be a heterogeneous mixture because heterogeneous, you can see two or more different things, and it's a mixture because you can physically separate it. You can pull it apart, uh, or in the case of water, you can let the water evaporate and separate apart. That's still physically separating the mixture.